Today, I want to talk about the top six most popular Veragamo bags to consider right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I'm checking out the Ferragamo handbag collection. This is an Italian fashion house that's been around for a while and I feel like it's so underrated. So let's go into my top 6 bags I would recommend from this beautiful Italian fashion house. Now before I get started, if you like the content on this channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It would really mean a lot. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So Veragamo is an Italian fashion house that's been around for a long while. I think for me, I always imagine it as a very like traditional brand. I mean, it does produce some really beautiful stunning handbags I want to go over today. Regardless, what I know Ferragamo for is more of like leather goods making, which is where it came from, like the heritage and history related to leather, which I think like, which is why I really see handbags being mostly made out of leather um i want to get it from like a reputable brand with history being familiar of using these leather goods uh, i think it's known for fine break designs and colors but really classic shape that gives it a little bit of an edge i feel like ferragamo as a brand it's really amazing, very practical, and a little bit like luxury under the radar. A little underrated, I would say. But it's beautiful, stunning, and discreet, and not like logo heavy. Very cheek and sophisticated. But I was wondering for a long while now, like, is Ferragamo popular? Is it more popular in maybe Europe than it is in North America? What do you guys think? Um, I honestly haven't seen too many people use Ferragamo bags in North America. I wonder where, why that is. Um, I think the Ferragamo bags are a little underappreciated. I think it is a very awesome brand that is underrated given that the style, maybe it doesn't appeal to a younger generation perhaps, that's why. It does have the same style that kind of changes color a little bit from season to season and maybe they, in general the public think it's far more Ferragamo as a grandmother style handbag. I don't know. Um, you don't too see too many sales of Ferragamo, but they do have sales um, from time to time. So I think it's a good time to have a look at this very traditional, but also like iconic brand. So let's go over my top six handbags. You can still pick up at the Ferragamo fashion house. Number six. Number six is the iconic top handle. This is priced at $3,230 Canadian. This is the small one. It does have like this beautiful, glamorous, classic feel. Structured bag, top handle. I think it's like a re-release of one of their most iconic bags. I love the design of it. You can see how settled the logo is on top of the open kind of clasp on the top here and how it opens up. It is made in Italy. And it has built-in compartments in it already. I think it's just such a beautiful bag and so underrated as well. You can see the compartments on the inside that's built in. But like I can see myself going to a fancy dinner with it. Maybe brunch with the ladies. So it does come in a number of colors and I think for a full leather bag, this is such a classic fashion house, this is a very reasonable price. Now this iconic top panel also comes in this beautiful red color. Look at this beautiful red lipstick color. It's just simply divine. Now number five bag I want to show you is this one. Now this is from a kind of like a whole series, a collection that they have. It's called the Trivolio. This is a Trifolio top handle. Now, I think uh, for me, I like the iconic top handle a little bit more. This one's priced at $3,410. It's a little bit on the smaller side, has a top handle, a little bit more too businessy for me that I don't think the bag is um, versatile enough. But from this collection, there is this one here, which is a shoulder bag. I know, I know, I love myself a good crossbody because crossbodies are just so much more functional with kids and um, just frees up my hand to hold my kids' hands while they still want to hold my hand. But I think the shoulder bag is just so beautiful. Classic silhouette. Maybe when I'm a little bit older, um, it'd be nice to go on a fine dining experience with my hubby and wearing this beautiful shoulder bag. 
As you can see, it comes in multiple colors. This one's on sale for this pomegranate. Beautiful, right? It's priced at $1,876. Just, I think it's such a classic design. Beautiful. And I've heard nothing but great reviews in terms of the wear on the bag, how classic it will, like even over a decade from now, if you wear the same bag, it won't go out of fashion. This is the Sienna Tan. And the durability of the bag and like the leather quality is just like next level. You can see it also has a tote bag version, which I'm not a big fan of tote bags because I don't carry as much around um, when I'm going out if I can. I think limiting the size of my bag limits what I bring outside. So this tote bag is priced at $3,960 for a full leather bag. Number four, it is the Ferragamo Studio Box Bag. Now the Studio Box Bag is such an iconic bag from their collection. It's stunning. It gives me a little bit of Hermes Birkin feel without the Hermes Birkin price tag. This one's priced at $2,680. And I think it's just frankly beautiful. Look, it's stunning, it's classic, it's not logo in your face. It does have a number of bags and then you see the beautiful like iconic studded bottom. I think it's just so beautiful and classy. You can see this is the opening on the inside. It's one compartment so roomy just feel like this bag has everything for me given the price point at $2,680 I think this is a great option to consider from the brand you can see this studio box bag this is the medium one in the black if you're looking for something a little bit more classic very sleek cheek bag but the studded bottom is just, it's just so beautiful for me. I feel like if you know, you know. And it has this beautiful candy pink interior and has this like extra removable pouch that comes with it. And this one is $3,410. Doesn't this just totally take your breath away? Anyways, now I wanna go over number three. It is this Vera Bow crossbody bag. So you know how I love crossbody, so I have to include the crossbody in my top six list for Ferragamo handbags. This one's $2,420. Has this classic bow on it. I think it's just so cute. As well as the chain that's included is not detachable, but it is easily adjustable so that you can make it into a crossbody and shoulder bag at a whim's notice and you can see the subtle Ferragamo logo that is engraved on the top of the bow but it's such I feel like it's an instant classic it, it's like a typical gold bag you see in a lot of brands but for $2,420 full leather bag from like a reputable fashion house I I think this is such a great option but anyways, it does come with several different colors, and I think the bow is not as apparent in the black version, but you can see that in this one, kind of like a champagne with this gold chain. It's just, this is actually, they call it a deer color. It's priced at $2,420 as well. I think it's just so classy, right? And it's just one compartment inside with slip pockets on the side. All right, so for my number two bag is this one is the Gancini mini bag it's priced at $1,400 probably the most affordable price out of all the top six handbags I think if you're looking for something like iconic but like with a little bit of a twist this is a great option I love the little gold details on it it's a little bit more casual so great for everyday use and you can see it there's little studded bottoms so cute and functional at the same time and has the option for a strap that is adjustable so you can have it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag just one big compartment on the inside it's just so dainty 
some very simplistic i love it all right my last bag i want to go over for my top six bag from ferragamo is this one here is this quilted ganchini mini bag this one is priced at 1890 dollars for a full leather bag i think this is a great option i think it's a little bit different you have the quilting it's just a beautiful design with like the subtlety of the ferragamo logo Reminds me a little bit of the Louis Vuitton Felice, or at least that style, Felice Pouchette with the chain strap. You see it's just one large compartment. The great thing about this one is that it is a magnetic closure, so it's not like a button closure. And this one's made in Italy, and I would say that a lot of bags that I pick up at Louis Vuitton nowadays are no longer like made in France, and most of it's made in USA. You can see that the straps also removable and detachable so you can make it into a beautiful clutch at price of $1,890 for this beautiful timeless piece I think this is a great option well anyways those are my top six bags I would recommend from this underrated Ferragamo handbag brand well I would say leather goods brand in general what do you think about the top six bags that i'm recommending from this brand do you have other ones that you think should have made the list how do you have experience with this brand as well do you have a bag that you love that you would love to share whether it's working out for you or just a little bit overhyped i would love to know well with that said thank you so much for joining me on another video and i'll see you next time in another mommy review take care and stay safe